Good evening. It's uh, Jeffrey Douglas with San Diego Rover. Uh, we are up this weekend at the ancient Bristlecone Forest, which is one of my favorite spots in California. It's in the White Mountains. And we're camping below the park in a, another favorite spot that's called Grand View Campground. It's about 8,500 feet. And uh, just love this uh, campground. Although I'm a bit surprised today and have never seen as many people here as I've seen this weekend. The campground's completely full, not a spot left. Uh, which normally when I come up here, I would be with maybe three or four people in the whole entire uh, campground. So today we're testing out two new pieces of equipment. Uh, first thing we've purchased is the Goal Zero Lithium 1000. Now you're probably more, more familiar with the Goal Zero Lithium 1400, but the 1000 model is available through Costco and it's about half the price of the 1400 lithium through Goal Zero or on, on um, Amazon. So I was a little concerned about that, whether that would be enough juice for me or not. So what we normally are wanting to do is obviously power the Engel refrigerator. And this is a 12 volt refrigerator, so it's very efficient. It pack pulls about uh, two amps when it's running and it's got a Japanese compressor in it. So it doesn't um, take a huge load when it starts up. So, so far, uh, we've also purchased the uh, Boulder 100, which is a flat panel that folds up into a briefcase. And today we've been really be, been able to keep uh, the battery fully charged with more energy coming into the system than it's going out to power the angle. It's been pretty warm up here today, so the refrigerator has been working pretty hard. But uh, so far, I'm actually, uh, it's about six o'clock in the afternoon and I'm almost at 100% with running uh, the refrigerator all day and also powering up, um, had to charge my Apple Watch, had to charge some other um, accessories as well. So, so far it's working really well. Probably over the night, it'll drop back down, probably use around 10 to 12%. Tomorrow I'll be able to plug in the solar panel when the sun is up and get the charge back up. So the goal really is I could almost infinitely stay off grid as long as we had sun. Now if you're in um, the winter or you're in uh, very rainy weather, that's going to rely more on the battery. But I did extensive testing with the battery with the angle prior to leaving and I was able to run it between three and four days in the house, which is not going to be as challenging as having it outdoors, but I figure that's, uh, that's pretty good. The 1400 obviously would do a little bit better, but um, I'm very, very happy so far with uh, both the build quality, uh, why I went with the lithium is it's much, much lighter than the um, other batteries. This uh, unit's just about 40, 40 pounds, so it's very easy to pick up and move. Uh, the handles are pretty ergonomic, so it, uh, it's much easier to move around than my old power supply, which was an arc pack, which was a great piece of equipment and used a deep cycle a AGM battery. Uh, but this has got the additional benefit of actually being able to um, solar charge it off the panels. Uh, also, uh, a big bonus for me is I've always had to grind my coffee and have it available. And now I can bring a small coffee grinder, plug it into the inverter, and it does a super job. All right, so I thought I'd point out some details. Um, the Yeti 1000 and the 1400 are really identical other than the capacity of the batteries. Um, so the panels and everything look very much the same. So the first thing you have here is an input. So this, if you're using the Goal Zero uh, solar panels, you'll have an eight ohm uh, plug in here and that's where you plug that in. You also have an Anderson plug here if you're going to run uh, a different style of panels. So those are available there. And then here you've got your 12 volt. Uh, this is where you would turn it on or off. 
and that uh, can go ahead and power the angle. You can hear the angle running right now. It's running um, at about two point, I'm sorry, about 29 watts. And then I can change that. And right now it's running at about 2.3 amps. Um, once the, once the refrigerator is in fairly good shape, it runs usually under about two, two amps, which is fairly, fairly great. Uh, some more um, Anderson plug 12 volt here. This is where you would plug your AC into your, uh, your house. And uh, it's also above this has got an adapter that's built in. So you don't have to have a separate adapter that's actually is built into the unit. And then I've been doing some reading and apparently Goal Zero will be putting in um, some components here, hopefully something for like DJI for recharging batteries, Sony cameras, Canon cameras, stuff like that. So looking forward to seeing that. Um, then you've got um, your, your display here. You can change it by units. Uh, you can turn on the light and then you can turn on info here. This will actually tell you at uh, the current load how much runtime you have. Below that, uh, you've got uh, one, two, three, four USB. They're five, uh, five volt, 2.4 amps. And that's really great uh, to plug in the cameras and things like that. Almost anything nowadays does run on, uh, on uh, USB. And then over here is a 1500 watt, 3000 watt surge um, 120 volt uh, inverter. So really um, you can plug in a lot of stuff. I didn't buy this to run, uh, you know, chainsaws and blenders and, and regular refrigerators and stuff like that. Uh, really my goal with this is to um, make this a, um, a battery that will last multiple days or even longer for our trips off, off grid. So that's a little bit of a detail about it. Um, just like all of the equipment that we buy, we will be doing uh, some more long-term um, reviews once we've had some, uh, some success with it. Um, you're never ever likely to get 100 watts out of a panel. Um, so I think that um, if you look at this and you look at, at getting 50% or more, you should be relatively happy. I actually saw some, um, some today up into the 75, 76 range, which is good. It's about 50% now, which is actually fairly good depending, it's actually good uh, with the light being as low as it is. So I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. I did look at the other Goal Zero panel that has the same, um, same watts, but it's a much easier to fold up it's uh it's it's on a, a panel that's uh just cloth and um, i went with the briefcase instead because it has kickstands on it so it's uh, ideally situated for the sun and um, although it's a bit of a problem to carry um, i think it's just going to be a lot easier to set up and to move around as the sun moves around one interesting aspect of running with solar is you really get to um, recognize just how uh, much the sun is moving throughout the day and uh, keeping an eye on that and, and making sure the panel is running in its uh, optimum condition. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. You just go ahead and point it towards the sun and you can adjust it and come back to the panel here and see you know, what your wattage is. So again, um, running at 50 watts, which is half, I'm, I'm awful happy with that. Looks pretty rugged. Um, it's got some corner protection on it here. It's got a nice ergonomic um, handle and the plug comes out of the back and everything. So this folds up. Um, the only thing that's got me a little concerned is the panels are actually facing outwards. And so I'm really concerned about having something break the uh, tempered glass, but I've done some reading. It seems like it's pretty, um, pretty good uh, as far as that goes. Um, on the back, there are some tilting legs and this keeps the panel at the optimal level for sun during the summer months. And then you can see below, there's that. 
All right, so um, panel weighs about a uh, little, little under 25 pounds. You can pick it up and fold it up, and then you can see that uh, you can carry it. It does come with a uh, case, although the case doesn't really offer any protection whatsoever. And it's a little hard to get in the case. If you've got two people, it's okay. But uh, I've been um, kind of struggling with it otherwise. Um, overall, though, um, this panel is about uh, under 350. And the other panel is well over 700. I'll put the actual uh, prices and some Amazon links for you below in the, uh, in the uh, video. So that's, um, that's my first impression. And uh, we'll update you as we know more. So I've um, I spent a lot of time ag agonizing over this decision because these are pretty expensive uh, investments, and um, you know I there's a lot of information out there. Some of it's very confusing. Uh, so why I wanted to do this video is kind of offer a little bit of a first impression on um, on how this soul system works, and uh, we will continue to update as we've got more experience actually going to have it trip up into Yosemite in late, um, late October, so it'll be interesting to see if we can get anything out of that, uh, that trip. And uh, Yosemite will be at Upper Pine, so that's gonna be pretty shady. But again, if you even got um, 15, 20 amps, um, it would, would help in augmentation of the, uh, the power for the, the refrigerator and everything. Uh, we also have got uh, another review to do today, which is the Slumberjack Roadhouse tarp. And I'm actually sitting underneath it right now. And uh, so we'll do that in a separate video. And as always, remember to get outdoors. Please subscribe if you find this video useful. And I hope to see you soon. If you see me out on the road, please, please say hi and have a wonderful day.